What does five sauce mean? Why do people even listen to it? Does their album even sound or feel? Let's find out and soon squeeze. Australian boy band. They play pop punk. New album. Sounds good. Feels good. That's not a personal comment. That's the name of the album. <laughs> uh, money. Again, like we the generation. You need to put fucking comma. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Sounds good. Feels good. It's stupid. Sounds good. Comma. Feels good. <laughs> I've, I've written such bad notes on this because they're <laughs> such bad fucking songs. Oh, don't worry. I, I didn't do much better, to be honest. <laughs> this is what I wrote for, like, okay, Money, which is the opening song. All my all I've said for this is, can you believe the amount of asinine things they're saying? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the intro to this song was the worst. It was 20 seconds of, like, they put a mic on in the studio and got ready for a, for a band practice. Like, yeah. it was the worst. And I was just sitting there like... Why did you put this at the start? <laughs> I need to sit through 20 seconds of this shit before you begin your... It just sounds like pop -punk. every overproduced pop-punk song that you've heard a thousand times before just done a bit worse. Yeah, I know. Done a little bit worse than thing. that. Throughout this album, I kept hearing bits of other bands that I recognised from like my youth and having loads of people around me listening to pop-punk and really liking it. And every time I heard one, I'd be like, oh, that's kind of a bit like that. Except, like, not as good and yeah. 10 years later, 10, 20 years later, like, it's just, it's, and this album, it was hard to get through, because it was so boring. I'll it's tell you hard. what I did. It was did. so long as well. <laughs> Why was it that long? I'll tell you what I did. I did this. On, uh, I can't even remember the song. Fly Away, right? On the song Fly Away. Mm. Yeah. It was only a short <laughs> song. It was only... That's my what notes for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, all these songs sound the same. Yeah, but do you know what I did halfway through that? I put Owner of a Lonely Heart on like, <laughs> yes. That's what I did instead. I was just like, I can't do it. I thought I you were going to say you put it. on a I Want to Fly Away by... Uh... No, I just put on yeah, a different song. I just <laughs> didn't want to keep doing it. Oh, it was bad. <laughs> Can we just review Owner of a Lonely Heart instead? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Right, so, track two, She's Kinda Hot. This... I wrote dumb fucking 13-year-old bullshit, 12 bar blues. Do you know what? Do you want to know something interesting as well? I think this is one of the best songs I of the album. I think it was one of the best songs of the album. Because... And I'd give it a five. Because, it has a hook. It has because, a hook. Because, yeah. They at least had a gimmick. Yeah. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, gimmick. I can see that. Mm. That's... I mean, it's, it's And stupid, you know what? The drummer right. on, in this band isn't that bad. No, yeah, yeah. pretty good. I, there was one that. song where the drums were good. I can't remember which one it was, there's, but they really she, shined. In yeah. She's Kinda Hot, they were pretty good. Yeah, there's and a lot of songs where I hear bits where I'm like, he's doing some Hyatt stuff, and I'm like... It's pretty nice. Yeah. 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 If the rest of the song wasn't the so The verse boring, was okay. Well, yeah, was cool. The chorus was the worst thing ever. Mm -hmm. And the wah... I don't even know. Was it a wah solo? It was something kind of weird guitar effect. Sounded interesting compared to everything else on this album. Hey, everybody. I the like most generic, like, pop-punk anthem. I kind of liked it when it was like, let's build in the chorus and then not do it. And then let's do it again and then not do it. But then it did it, like, ten times. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I know what's going to happen. I'm not being funny, it's but... It's going to be bad. I've literally heard this song somewhere else before by another band. <laughs> like, I actually went on Google like, and tried to find, you like, know what? what it was this, a cover This, to me, of. like, might as well have been, you know, those old, like, Good Charlotte that always had songs where they'd call it, like, the something anthem. Because they were like, yeah, it's our anthem for our album. We'll call it the something anthem because they were meant to be generic and big like happy generic. this is like that it might as well be called like the f f five sauce anthem because it's just <laughs> there to be like True. this is the one that all the kids shout it's next song I, I just next put song. oh 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 chorus is incredibly unexciting they do so many o's and oaos and, and nahs. Nahs. <laughs> yeah <laughs> next song I, permanent vacation i wrote i wrote here i didn't even i just don't know anymore <laughs> <laughs> I, wrote, I wrote it was kind of bouncy with a question mark <laughs> <laughs> i said it feels like every song on this album is trying to be the single yeah and this I get song that. is just mm. a chorus and it's not yeah, a good it chorus. It is just a chorus, yeah. And it's yeah. not a good chorus. Yeah, no. I, like, this is the thing. With this whole album, I don't think 
a lot of it sounds bad. I just think it's so boring. It like is. it's all so average. Like it's decently produced. It's just boring. I'll tell you There's what, I think that there. the production dragged this up from a three. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. The yeah, drums no, sounded good. Like yeah. the drums sounded great. Like, yeah, a lot of it was produced. Was really like, okay, let me go Jet to Black Heart. Jet Black Heart I didn't think was awful. I wrote Oh my fucking god! Just give up on trying to write lyrics. <laughs> I, uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. no, I, no, I agree. With that. I have a jet black heart, and I'm like, a uh, yeah, a heart. What next? And he says, with a hurricane underneath it. I'm like, yeah. I'm fucking out. Wasn't I'm that off. mean. I'm Wasn't leaving. Mean? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> There's so many songs on here that do that as well. Like this one, I liked entirely because the chorus was decently catchy. It had a decent vocal like melody at least, and I was like, it's it's all right. I can I can I can deal with it. If this came on, I wouldn't be like, it's awful, turn it off. I'd be like, yeah. it's right. it, it, it was an attempt at something slower and dark. Now there's, there's, there's a section that, that we've definitely picked. <laughs> <It> was, <laughs> there's a section now where like it gets to a few songs where I just all of them were just like, I read generic love song, generic love song, generic love song. Yeah. Just the next it, section, I'd, I, I'd like to skip it. It did not come <laughs> across as authentic in any manner in that song. I'd like to skip to Vapor. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Cat, catch fire. G- generic love song. Decent drums though. That was the only okay, thing. That's fair. Uh, and another thing. Yeah. Wait, waste the night. They don't even sing that well. Like, yeah. No, on a few of the songs there was actually just bad singing. Yeah. Like, you, I can, I've done some fucking auto tune work before, and you have to be really fucking shit to be able to hear where the auto tune is. Airplanes, I can hear it. Airplanes especially. That song, I was just like, yeah, this is just not sung well. Yeah, I quite liked, well, quite liked. I found "Waste the Night" to be more acceptable to my ears than any other song. That one I wrote, generic love song. This one drags. Yeah, but it kind of sounded like stereophonics. (laughs) I I could see it being a really bad stereophonics song. It had like a slow guitar bit Mm. with some fast drums, which was quite interesting to play them off against each other with an acoustic intro. And then the second chorus was kind of different instead of every other chorus on this, which is like, we're going to do the same chorus four <laughs> times in one song. I want to talk about the next two songs, though. Okay. Because Vapor, first I want to say... I oh, whoa, 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 Waste the Night had, a, like, an instrumental interlude ending thing. Like, the song ended, and then there was, like, a minute of, like, a different song. Yeah. I thought the, the drumming was sweet on Waste the Night. The drumming was pretty good. Yeah, he said that yeah. while you were outside the room. Having your I was too mad. I'm yeah. sorry, but <laughs> I, I think I never mind. Yeah, I, I, it was weird. It was weird. I don't know whether I liked it or not. They no, weren't you didn't. singing on it. Just they weren't singing on it in that <laughs> instrumental <laughs> yeah. outro. They so, did it a few times, and I just I was like, I I feel like they've heard some good albums before, and they've done some interesting things, have and they? then they've gone. I don't think they have. <laughs> like no, I genuinely don't think. No, I think they they've have. heard some good albums. Gone. Oh, they did something interesting, and then they've tried to do it and not understood why. It's really, I don't even think they attempted to do that. <laughs> no, I, I do think, not think with that. things like that, with things like that instrumental like, no, after bit, where they're like, I yeah, think cool. the producer did that. Ah, uh, maybe. I don't think they did that at all. I think that was entirely I'm the job give them of the, the benefit of the doubt. I'm not. Fuck them. But I'm not going to do. Five that. sauce. You're living in two thousand and three. Fucking come on, man! Australia's like <laughs> oh, part Vapor! Of the world I loved Vapor yeah. because it was the shortest song on the album. <laughs> Do you know? What? I loved it because can, it was the shortest song on the album. I can picture the like design meeting for Vapor, and I, all I all I've got as my ring here is. Yeah, we do drugs too. Seriously, guys, we're cool. Stop listening to Fiddler, please. Please listen to us. We do drugs as well, please. <laughs> do you want to see all my notes in that song? Nope. Just nope. <laughs> They had they had some orchestral elements came in and I was kind of surprised because it was the first one they do it and a lot of them afterwards but it was the first mm. one I noticed it and I was like oh that's not bad there's Cast some nice away. back there this one I feel like they stretched a metaphor as far as it could possibly go. I feel as though they should have cast away this song <laughs> fly away <laughs> <laughs> nah no, oh no, my nah, god all these songs nah. sound the same yeah the thing I took away from this song well no sorry the only thing that I took away from this song was the fact that they went nah 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 that, oh, and it hurts so me. Awful. That is the only and thing I took away from the that whole song. fly away cliche as well. Yeah, sli- again, only I'm, slightly. I don't even want to talk about it. It was that bad. It was that bad. <laughs> fly away and cast away, probably easily. In fact, yes, definitely easily. Cast away the was worst the best songs. example, I think, of what you were talking about with the writing. Where like I could see they were going for this idea of this metaphor. Some say and they best. stretched it right to the end, and not one bit of it worked. They yeah. just kept going. <laughs> it like yeah. we. 
fucking make this piece Invisible. of shit metaphor fucking work. I, I liked didn't. it because it was different from everything else. Because it had an orchestral backing, and I hadn't had that for about how many songs? Ten songs. <laughs> I wrote it was intense, but for like no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I what wrote... What does it mean? Gener- generic <laughs> flaming mean? yourself song. Also, I didn't like that song. And do you know why I didn't like it? Yeah. Because the drums just didn't seem to exist on that song. <laughs> and that sucked, because that was pretty much the only thing keeping me sane at this point. <laughs> San Francisco. On this song, I honestly... No, you skipped airplanes, man. I mean... I mean... Why wouldn't you? Because <laughs> it says... It says right here that the dual guitar solo was okay. As in, like... Okay. But the singing was the worst the on the whole album. And the rest is awful. <laughs> so that's why so we So San Francisco, talk about it. I San got Francisco. to this song. And oh, I, I love this one! I got distracted by the spotted University of Portsmouth page, looking what? at pictures of like stupid drunk people at clubs and stuff. And I was watching that. <laughs> and then I let the whole song go by oh. on Spotify. Oh, you missed out on a really good happened. bit. And oh, then I went back to it and listened to it. You missed out on something really good. What do you I think w- of this song? Okay, so this song is exactly the, the same end. as Invisible in the sense that it had some orchestral backing mm. and they were doing some generic stuff. Yeah. It had a more memorable chorus, which I thought was a bit better. Cool. Yeah. And there were drums. Yeah. Oh. Albeit bland, there <laughs> were drums. Yeah. But at the end, they started playing The Streets Have No Name. Well, by you too. By you too. Yeah, I know. Yeah, in the interlude, that. they just played that. Yeah. Oh shit! It was like a sort of secret. And for that of... reason, I gave it a ten. <laughs> a ten. I gave it a ten. Shit. <laughs> the streets have no name. We were listening to you two this whole time. They fooled us. I, I wrote good by their standards, <laughs> shit by anybody else's on that song. I, I, like, because it was weird. It was like a kind of secret song thing where they had like a gap, and then they started playing it, and I was kind of like. Oh, it's not even that bad. And now that I know that, I'm like, oh, yeah. that's why it's not bad because it well, wasn't no, them. It, it, no, it, well, it was it was them, but it sounded yeah, but exactly it. like it. Oh, it just no, it wasn't like it. it wasn't that song, but oh, it sounded okay. exactly like it. It's exactly the same guitar like delay effect and that being like the main thing, and then having like some picking. That it sounds exactly the same. like I'm saying. They've heard some. I mean, in the case of you too, at least semi decent bands. And then uh, and they've gone. We can do that. And then they've yeah. not understood it. Outer space carry on. Yeah. I want to run. I want to hide. I want to tear down the walls that hold me inside. I said on this after the first half of it, after the first three minutes forty, it actually gets kind of cool a little bit. And I was like, oh, this could be going somewhere. And it didn't go anywhere. But it kind of felt like it could be going somewhere. Here's a weird fact. I don't know if anybody, if you guys noticed this, because the lyrics are so bad, I would understand if you weren't even listening to any of them. But the song before it, San Francisco. It begins with, I can I can still taste her, which sounds weird to fucking begin with. And on the song Out of Space Carry On, it says, I can still taste the ocean. So there's two songs in a row that begin with, I can still taste. Just thought they would have noticed that. Maybe I wouldn't have had them so close together. Ocean. Maybe she's a bit salty. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 Maybe they're just shit. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I actually thought that the last one was okay. Yeah. I said they fucking ooh aahed me again, those fucking pricks. Uh, that's <laughs> the second song in a row that started the... Yeah, fuck this song. The I'll last song was the best song because it was the last song. <laughs> why? You knew it was coming to an end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's why it was the best song. Ugh. Okay, this is, all I have to say about this album is why was it so fucking long? It was too long. Why? Like... Also, fuck this album, and don't tell me that 13-year-olds need music as well, because I didn't need this shit when I was growing up, and it's just targeted, you know, marketing, for selling music to children. Yep. <laughs> They're just fuck trying it. to be old pop-punk bands. I did kind of get into the shoes of a pre-pubescent girl. Yeah? What was, was it? I was listening to it, like... What, li- little, like, literally? They were a bit small, but... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, under- the... I understand Which what it's girl? like. <laughs> <laughs> I know some Australian that listens oh. to this shit. Oh, it Jesus was pretty. Christ, good. marks out of ten, people. Oh my god. Mm, that is a great question. Gareth, oh. hit me up first. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like she's kind of hot though. <laughs> I feel like I would give this a five, and I I think I think <laughs> I'm being nice to it by giving it a five. <laughs> But yeah, I, I just think I just think when I when I I, I I think like when I listen to it, I'm never at a point where I'm just like Gareth, oh, I can't listen to something. Gareth, you should be more harsh. <laughs> you should be more harsh. <laughs> they offended me. 
<laughs> it was. It, I was never directly it never defending my got people. To that point where I was like, oh, I cannot listen to this. I would just got bored, and so I think I'd I'd say like strong four, strong four, weak four. I think the production was the only thing that this, that carried this mm. above a two or a three. Oh, I'm giving it a two <laughs> or a three. No, just a two. Just okay. a two. Okay. That's up from a one. Mm. I was going to give it a one. If you like. Generic boring pop music. Give this a listen. You'll love it. Yeah. If you missed out on all the good pop punk that then came out when all pop punk was actually coming then out, go and listen to that and not yes. Yeah. But uh, or just <laughs> you know reevaluate your life. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, think about yeah. it. Yeah. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Yeah. If you want to see some more of our stuff, we don't hate on everybody. We're yeah. only the people that deserve it. Yeah. Hit that subscribe Bloody button. Australians. <laughs> except also Ex one of the highest except rated albums you've done is also Australian. Except Kevin. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Well, goodbye for now. Go watch that review. Yeah. Tay and Bar. Currents. That was a good album from Australia. That's enough. Goodbye. They're, they're not all bad. What does five sauce mean? Why do people even listen to it? Does their album even sound or feel? Let's find out and soon squeeze. Australian boy band. They play pop punk. New album, sounds good, feels good. That's not a personal comment, that's the name of the album. <laughs> uh, money. Again, like We The Generation, you need to put a fucking comma. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> sounds good, feels good. It's stupid. Sounds good, comma, feels good. <laughs> I've, I've written such bad notes on this because they're <laughs> such bad fucking songs. Oh, don't worry. I, I didn't do much better, to be honest. <laughs> this is all I wrote for, like, okay, Money, which is the opening song. All my all I've said for this is, can you... It was only a short <laughs> song. It was only... It's my <laughs> notes for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, all these songs sound the same. Yeah, but do you know what I did halfway through that? I put owner of a lonely heart on like <laughs> yes. That's what I did instead. I was just like, I can't do it. I thought I you were gonna say you put it. on a I wanna fly away by uh No, I just put on yeah, a different song. I, mean. I just didn't want to keep doing it. Oh, it was bad. <laughs> Can we just review owner of a lonely heart instead? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Right, so track two, she's kinda hot. There's I wrote other bands that I recognised from like my youth and having loads of people around me listening to pop punk and really liking it. And every time I heard one, I'd be like, oh, that's kind of a bit like that. Except, like, not as good and yeah. 10 years later, 10, 20 years later, like, it's just, it's, and this album, it was hard to get through because it was so boring. I'll it's tell you hard. what I did. It was did. so long as well. <laughs> Why was it that long? I'll tell you what I did. I did this. On, uh, I can't even remember the song. Fly Away, right? On the song Fly Away. Mm. Yeah. You believe the amount of asinine things they're saying. <laughs> Dude, the intro to this song was the worst. It was 20 seconds of, like, they put a mic on in the studio and got ready for a, for a band practice. Like, yeah. it was the worst. And I was just sitting there like, why did you put this at the start? I need to sit through 20 seconds of this shit before you begin your... It just sounds like punk. every overproduced pop-punk song that you've heard a thousand times before... Just done a bit worse. Yeah, done a little bit worse than that. Throughout this album, I kept hearing bits of.